Hello again, great to be with you. I hope you're having a, a great day today. Um, we've been working our way through the Bible, uh, one book at a time, taking a, a different book each day. Today we're in day 46, which takes us to the first letter of Corinthians. It's one of Paul's longer letters, in fact 16 chapters, and the first of two written to the church in Corinth, a church that he had helped to establish. He wrote because the church was in a mess and he wanted to try and help them to sort it out. Church problems are not new. I dare say that every church has struggled at some point or another. And indeed, it can be argued that if a church isn't struggling, then there must be something wrong. And you know, if Satan doesn't think that it's worth attacking. In this case, it seems that one of the leaders was having a relationship with his stepmother, which was deemed to be inappropriate and unhealthy. So Paul... Uh, also found that his uh, status as apostle was being called into question. So he wrote um, to establish his, his own position as apostle. And uh, whilst he was at it, did a little bit of teaching on things like communion, marriage, spiritual gifts, the resurrection of the dead, uh, and a few other bits and pieces for good measure whilst he was at it. I did a little scan through, through my Bible and found this verse highlighted in chapter 2, verse 2 of this letter, where Paul writes, For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. It's the one truth that we all need to know. It doesn't matter how, what sort of mess we find ourselves in or how badly we've messed up our relationships or even how far we've drifted from God. The most important thing for any of us to know is that Jesus died on the cross, to put it right. He died to... Uh, bring redemption from our sins. He is our mighty saviour. He is the one who redeems us from the worst of situations and lifestyles. He is the one who makes things right because he was crucified for our shortcomings, raised again to new life so that we too could be restored to new life in him. That's the whole point. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for all that you achieved on the cross for us. Thank you for redeeming each of us from the place of pain, suffering and lack that we sometimes find ourselves in. Lord, help us to understand the depth and scale of your love for us, the love that took you to death and beyond for our benefit. Bless us, Lord, to walk all the days of our lives in the knowledge that your crucifixion was everything that was needed, everything that was needed to be done for our salvation. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.